What's up YouTube? This is the Vasette 10 Plus Hyper Scooter. Let me tell you about it. Subscribe and let's ride. So we're looking at our first Vissette scooter today, the 10 Plus. If you've seen our channel before, you've likely heard of the Zero line of electric scooters. These were scooters by the same company, sold under many different brands. They now no longer white label their scooters, they sell under a single unified brand, Vissette. All of the Vissette scooters are rocking improved aesthetics, features, and performance. It's one of the best options for a power scooter, and that's why we sell them at AlienRides.com. Let's get into some of the features of this performance scooter, then we'll get into our top speed run later. All right guys, let's check out some of the features of the Vissette 10 Plus scooter. We'll start from the back and make our way up the stem to the handlebars. You've got this really nice angular mudguard. It's got the Vissette mark on here and some carbon fiber design here as well. It looks pretty cool. You've got these metal stands. Hopefully, it's be pretty sturdy and not break as much. In the rear, you've got these 10 by three Tavat looking tires. They're pretty cool really wide, gonna help you be stable and turn better. You've also got a rear disc brake system. It's a hydraulic zoom brake labeled Vissette. So pretty cool that it comes with hydraulic brakes. So people love these nut covers and they come with the stock, which is pretty cool. It makes it have a pretty clean look, I think. You've got these powder coated swing arms followed by a hydraulic spring coil over suspension. It makes for a really smooth ride actually. So while I thought the 10X was a little bit too bouncy, I feel like this, is gonna provide a bit more stability for high-speed maneuvers. So coming up to the deck, you've got this rear fin here, and it's a really comfortable spot to rest your foot on. So while some scooters have a rear fin, usually it's angled way too high up, and it's just really uncomfortable to rest your foot. This one is perfect, I think, because it's just a really natural stance when you can put your foot up there. You've got the deck here, which is kind of an interesting pattern. It's got this carbon fiber design here as well as a rubber mat in the middle, and Depending on your shoe type, if you're on the rubber mat, you've got some pretty good grip. For me though, I was slipping around a little bit up here, but I think you can just add some grip tape here maybe, and then it would be nice. So no problems there really. It's a really nice size deck too, really comfortable for long range cruising. In the front of the deck, you've got two charge boards here, so you can charge with two chargers, or you can buy a fast charger on AlienRides.com. That's gonna let you charge the scooter much faster. On the side of the deck, you've got rear tail lights and a brake light and in the front you have a headlight. It's pretty cool integrated design um, that features pretty well. So I like these lights a lot. It just looks really cool. And then coming to the front of the scooter, you have another swing arm, looks pretty cool. The same suspension, a front mud guard with headlight, as well as the same hydraulic braking setup. So overall pretty nice setup there. On the left side guys, you have a nice beefy kickstand. Look how big this thing is. It's way more sturdy than a lot of the kind of thin flimsy kickstands this thing has got some girth to it, I quite like it. Now let's look at the folding mechanism. Hey guys, up here, you've got the folding mechanism now. It kind of looks like the round mechanism, but there's just a lot to it. So it takes some effort, but I do like it. It makes for a really sturdy stem. So let's take a look. So we're gonna unscrew this bolt here. Gonna fold that latch, pull up on this guy, and then it's gonna fold if you don't mess up. And the rear is gonna lock to that rear fin and you can pick it up by the stem. So overall, just a really nice folding mechanism. I like that thing a lot. Moving up the Vasset branded stem, you have the handlebars. They're actually quite nice. They're pretty wide. I feel total control of the scooter. I like the size of them. They have really nice yellow accents and grips. Feel really comfortable. 
and they go with the look of the scooter. In the middle here, you have the pulley mechanism, so you can twist these open. And as you twist them, they fold and make it for a really compact package that you can stick under your desk or store in your car, something like that. So really nice feature there. See if you got the two, the set branded Zoom brick levers. Pretty solid braking power there. On the left, you have a control panel with a horn, a button for dual motor or single motor, and a support button. This is like a turbo button, so when you press that, you get two minutes of more power. The display goes to mode five, one to five, or three to five, and you get two minutes of that enhanced power. So that's a pretty cool feature. We've got our display and throttle here. So this one's pretty interesting. Let me turn this off and show you how it works. When you hold this button to turn on the scooter, the display turns on and it shows card. It's looking for an NFC card and you get a few with the scooter. So you hold the card up here and it unlocks and turns on the scooter. Now, it's a pretty cool security feature. And if you go to our website, we'll have some more information there about how you set it up with your cell phone. So you can unlock it with your cell phone. It's a pretty cool feature. The display has buttons to change modes. So you can go up to three and down to one. And it has a finger throttle. So you just use your finger to throttle. Overall, I find it to be a pretty good way of controlling the power to the scooter. You can modulate it fairly well. Um, the only other option they could do really is like a nice thumb throttle. Maybe we'll have that as an option on the website that you can upgrade to. The display shows all the scooter telemetry, like your current speed, how much battery you have left, what speed mode it's on, how much range you've gone so far. It's a pretty nice full feature display, but kind of depending on what angle you're at, it can be a little bit hard to see in the sun. Um, but overall, I think that the whole throttle and display combination is a really nice system there. Let's take a quick look at some of the specs of the Vasset 10 Plus. While some sellers advertise the Vasset 10 Plus as a vehicle with 70 miles of range, top speed riding will certainly get you significantly below that. The 25 amp hour battery will get plenty of range for solo or group rides. This 60 volt battery powers twin 1,400 watt motors, which can hit more than 4,000 watts at peak draw. This powers the Vasset along to about 50 miles per hour according to the display, but about 45 miles per hour on GPS. It's still a lot of power and can certainly be the end game for many scooter riders. We've got the Vasset 10 Plus priced at about 2,400, and I do think you get excellent value for your money. It's got better features and more power than both the Mantis Pro and Dualtron Eagle. It's currently the king of the mid-size performance scooter lineup. Now, we're going to go on over to one of the fastest city streets around for our top speed run. All right, guys, we are doing a little speed run on the Vasset 10 Plus here, on a little favorite speed trip here. We are in mode three, everything is maxed out. Let me hit that sport button. It just went to mode five. Let's go. Let's see how fast we get this thing up to. Woo! It is at 40 miles an hour or so, 39. Let's see if we can get this thing up to 50. Let's go. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, looks like we're maxing out about 52 miles an hour, slight uphill here. I think we do get a downhill up here too, though. All right, about 52 miles an hour on the Vista 10 Plus on the display. We'll add GPS number two to see what GPS says, but this thing is fast, man. Woo! This thing is fast. All right, that's all we got for the speedrun, guys. Get back to the video. All right, guys, that's all we got for this episode on the Vasset 10 Plus. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of this power scooter. If you want to see more information on it, check out our website at alienrides.com. Think about subscribing and liking this video so we can keep making more of these. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.